Okay, so let me talk about in this video how you can use the text to speech feature on your iPad. So uh, it depends on what you mean by this directly because there are various ways to use this feature. For example, like um, you can use it with social media and have it like this, but let's focus on a couple of different things. First, the primary method for converting speech to text on your iPad is through a feature called dictation. And this is integrated directly into the iPad's built-in keyboard. Whenever you need to type something, look for the microphone icon on the keyboard and by tapping on this icon, you can start speaking directly and your iPad will convert your speech into written text. But before you can use this feature, you need to set it up or at least have it enabled. So at first, go to the settings app on your device and navigate to the uh, general section, then tap on the keyboard. And in this one, you'll find an option for a dictation. So make sure to enable it by confirming the settings and you can also choose your preferred language here. So if your keyboard is set to English, Dictation will also use English, but you can also select the other languages if you have multiple keyboards installed. Once this is set up, you can use the microphone icon on your keyboard to start dictating whenever you need to convert speech to text. In addition to the built-in dictation feature, there are also third-party apps that offer text-to-speech functionality. So for example, there is the SwiftKey keyboard from Microsoft, which you can install, and this also has an integrated microphone, which allows you to dictate text. So some users find it to be a better alternative, especially if they experience issues like I did recently with my keyboard. So my keyboard, which was the built-in one from Apple, simply didn't work, so I had to go for some kind of alternative option and decided to go with the SwiftKey, and it was good. So. I was pretty happy about it. You should also know that some people might also refer to a feature which transcribes your speech during a video to live captions on the screen. So this is an option as well, but for that you need to use like a third party app, for example, captions, I believe does this. So yeah, it's up to you to decide which one you wanna use for that, but it is also possible.